Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Everything good? Perfect. So thank you very much, Jose Gonzalo. Um, that was a very informative session. I'm from the finance side of the world, so procurement is a very interesting part of uh, my time and my day. We spend countless hours on a monthly basis working with the procurement team on our side simply because of the way that we're integrated. Um, thank you to all of uh, the attendees today for attending our session. Again, my name is Vito Urachi, and I'll be spending the next little bit walking you through uh, my Esprit journey. So I'm currently the financial controller of the Canadian pharmaceutical business, and I'm a graduate of the Finance Esprit program. Um, a little bit about myself, I was born and raised in Canada and hold a bachelor's degree um, of commerce. Um, and prior to uh, completing my MBA, I had about five years of work experience uh, externally um, at General Motors in various corporate financial roles. Uh, I decided to embark on my MBA journey, probably similar to a lot of you, as I felt it was the right time. I had moved quickly from a junior to uh, a senior analyst role and, and an individual contributor. And I took the advice of my mentor uh, to really take a leave of absence and, and complete my MBA. Okay? Um, I have dual citizenship. I'm a Canadian and I have Italian citizenship. So I decided to attend Zabokoni in Milan and completed my um, MBA internship with Amazon So um, at their Italian headquarters. So for me, I was, I was testing out the markets a little bit. Um, having manufacturing background as well as want to tech, uh, test out tech. Um, and also, while in Italy, I decided that I wanted to study also in the U.S., so I ended up doing my exchange at Wharton in uh, Philadelphia, and that's where I completed my concentration courses. A little bit about uh, the recruitment process. So when my focus turned to full-time recruitment, I was fortunate enough to be able to either return to General Motors as I was on a leave of absence, also had some opportunities in tech, um, or real estate development, but ultimately chose the Esprit program. And uh, you might ask, why, why GSK? What I can tell you is um, that you're a lot further ahead than I was during my recruitment process. Um, I had a sure thing, um, the ability to go back to my company, but, or, or really stay in the tech world where um, there's a lot of interesting opportunities. However, the Esprit program uh, for finance was in its second intake. And to be completely honest, I didn't attend any of these sessions that you guys are attending. So um, first round of interviews were handled on campus. They were really positive experience with the interviewer. And I, I felt that we connected well. Uh, the job posting was interesting and aligned to my work experience and ambition. However, I didn't really learn about the program until I made it to the assessment center. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the assessment center, but if you guys have questions, we can get into that a little bit later on. Um, for me, the, the program lead did a really great job of selling the program. Uh, some things that, I, that really uh, stood out to me were true international rotations. Um, when, when joining General Mortars early in my career, I was sold uh, a, a rotational program, but really that never really took place. Um, there was buy-in from the highest levels of the organization. So like uh, Jose Gonzalo being a part of our conversation today, um, the, at the assessment center, we had multiple leadership team members that were uh, location in the Philadelphia area come out and really um, explain the what and the why. One thing that I thought was important also was the small intake. So uh, in finance, uh, they typically take around five esprit um, globally per year. For me, that was quite important because, again, you know that you're not just a number. You're, you're really part of something um, where well, you'll have the ability to grow and, and get good um, exposure to leadership and the list really went on and on and what I can tell you uh, in my experience in my opinion this is truly a unique program and I, I again I had different opportunities um, and I could not find any other opportunity that provided the resources to uh, using rise with like GSK does and that's where I decided that I wanted to be so that's a little bit about the recruitment process let me flip to the next slide here okay. A little bit more on the Esprit program. So I was fortunate enough to be successful in the assessment center, um, received an offer. Um, for me, there are three really real areas that I look for when I'm, I'm looking at a new opportunity. Uh, one, looking at my own capability gap. Two, where am I able to um, make impact? And three, how can I develop my network? Uh, I was unique in a sense where I had the right to work either in Europe or in Canada, um, having dual citizenship. And I ultimately decided to accept an offer to work in the UK at, uh, in an above country role at our corporate headquarters um, based out of London. Um, I decided on a finance partner role, uh, which was a regional role. 
And really the reason for that was, again, for me, from a capability gap, um, one, it was a new company, two, it was a new industry, three, it was a new country, and lastly, it was an above country role where, versus where I had previously worked um, at General Motors, it was more in a local operating company. Again, from an impact perspective, the project that was presented to me was really interesting. It was looking at um, how we allocate resource across the European region, which was made up of about 50 smaller markets, and really being able to work with uh, the finance leads in these markets to develop this, um, this strategy. And also, I, outside of a special project in my first role, I also had day-to-day -day ownership of a portfolio. So again, it was a mix of project work as well as uh, real life experience. And lastly, uh, from a networking perspective, the importance of working at our headquarters was, was very important for myself because in, in my experience, um, you do well not only by your, your competency and your capability, but also by, by really building a network. And the network I was able to build uh, at our headquarters uh, is one that still serves me today. And it was just nice to have the ability to have face-to-face -face, um, support with, with either senior leadership or sponsor. Um, throughout the, the first year, I, I gained great experience. And at the time, I was looking for a second um, role. And um, what I can say is the Esprit program provides you a lot of tools and resources and gives you a brand where you can go around and, and really sell yourself and you, you, you get maybe a foot in the door with some senior leadership. But what, what I realized was also I have to, you have to develop the career that you want. And for myself being Canadian, um, I, I decided to network with a Canadian organization and ultimately I was quite successful and I was able to turn my networking uh, into a really um, interesting role in my second role. And my second role was a finance partner in market. Uh, the role that we created was not one that was posted, but it, it enabled me to fill a capability gap that I had. My capability gap was um, a little bit more on full P&L uh, responsibility, so not only looking at brands or specific business units. Um, I, I really got to see um, sales from the, the, the area that I had uh, ownership over, as well as I, I was the lead for our field organization, which was about 300 employees. Um, and, and it had um, A and P and, and cost center ownership. So really it gave me an end to end view on the Canadian organization. From a networking perspective, um, it, the, the experience that I had at GSK House enabled me to um, continue to build my, my network um, and, and be able to speak with the people in the Canadian organization. Um, in the Canadian role, again, once you're outside of the um, Board. It's a little bit more dis uh, difficult to continue building that network, but the Esprit program has um, certain um, activities throughout the year that enables you to go and reach out and um, meet uh, abroad with um, the whole uh, Esprit um, um, or, um, um, group and really, again, that continues to help building the network. 